Gegen pressing in Milan. This should be interesting. This one is called the JDC 433 Gegen Press. They used Milan in this. They were unbeaten. 38 played, 33 wins, 5 draws, and no losses. A fantastic run. It looks like using Giroud up front, Leao, of course, on the right, and Pulisic. I, I want to see him play so badly. There's no real description. It basically says 433 unbeaten for all season, won the treble. Uh, so. We'll see what it does with our three teams of Liverpool, Aston Villa, and our championship side of Ipswich Town. But first, let's hit the Premier League. It seems like this tactic was only tested with Milan. It would be really interesting to see how he would have done with other teams. Did he make this for Milan? Did he make this just overall to see how they did? But in this case, Liverpool did a fantastic job winning the league with 87 points. Now, that is a bit of a down period for the Premier League. A lot of times you'll see the Premier League winner at least with 90 plus points. Uh, 87 is kind of a little bit above where Liverpool should end up, or in all my tests, where they usually end up if you don't do any tactical changes whatsoever. Aston Villa, 10th place, not good at all. I mean, they got the Europa League, but still, 10th place, not great. 75 goals, 97 for Liverpool. Let's take a deeper look. Domestic Cups for Liverpool, unfortunately, you dropped out in the Carabao Cup fourth round against Tottenham, and then the fifth round of the FA Cup against Arsenal. You do get to the Europa League final, but lose out to RB Leipzig, nil two. So overall, Premier League is your bread and butter right now this season. You got the trophy there. Your runners up in the Europa League, but unfortunately, FA Cup and Carabao Cup are pretty abysmal. Squad wise, I mean, you still have a lot of green though. 22 goals for Salah Nunez with 20. We haven't seen Nunez really just branch out and get a lot ton of goals lately. But they have really spread it around. Van Dyke getting 10 goals this season. That's insane. Assist wise, 16 for Robertson. Harvey Elliott with 14. They got that a little bit spread out as well. But a 7 3 6 for Salah is tops. So, trying to figure out where Aston Villa got the Europa League for next season. It's not here. Carabao Cup fourth round is where you drop out against Brighton. You do beat Ipswich in the third round of the FA Cup, but FA quarters, you're out against Tottenham in extras. So that leaves one more. Yep, an unbeaten run all the way to the Europa Conference League final against Atletico Pamplona. 3-0. I think that's the first time we've seen them. I mean, a lot of teams that you really should beat. So it wasn't the toughest of seasons there, but you still come away with a trophy to kind of combat that 10th place finish. Yeah, the Premier League is not where you put all your stake this time around. 10th place is pretty bad, but you won the Conference League, you get to Europa League next season, you get some money in there, you get another chance. But FA Cup, quarters, not too bad. Carabao Cup, not great. Squad-wise, definitely a lot less green here. Goals, 27 for Zaniolo. Fantastic job there. Spreading it out a little bit with those in the in double digits. Assist, 16 for John McGinn and Zaniolo. Zaniolo having a fantastic season, but... 719, that's all you get. I kind of would expect more. Data Hub for Liverpool, through the roof as usual on the attacking numbers. Even dribbles made getting up there. And goals per game, you get 2.55 with a 0.68 conceded. Not bad at all. And if we look at Aston Villa, you can see a lot less numbers. I mean, the shots per game is pretty up there. They're kind of on the average mark of where they have been in a lot of these tactics. Dribble's still there. But general performance, 1.97 goals per game, 1.53 conceded. And then points per game, Liverpool with a 2.29. It's on the kind of lower side, I would think. Aston Villa with only a 1.58. We've seen that before, and they were higher up. Definitely a weird season in the Premier League this year. Premier League stats, most goals, 97 for Liverpool. Aston Villa in second place with 75. Very well done. Few shots against Liverpool in second. Aston Villa in seventh. Most possession, Liverpool with a 53%, lower than usual. Most dribbles made, Aston Villa topping Liverpool this time. Second place, Liverpool's fourth with 700. And then most shots for Liverpool in first with 693. Aston Villa in second with 550. But now, how did Ipswich Town in the championship do? Second place, 98 points, 109 goals. Fantastic job, automatic promotion. Very well done. They did a fantastic job in the Carabao Cup, getting all the way through to the Carabao Cup semifinals. First leg, nil two, unfortunately, away from home, but Manchester United beat them at home 2-1, and you're dropped out. But FA Cup third round, Aston Villa, immediately we saw that already. So overall, championship, a fantastic job. Carabao Cup, very nicely done. Unfortunately, you get up against Manchester United, and you didn't lose by much, but semifinals is where you drop out. Third round for the FA Cup, though. Yeah, not great. But now, how did their squad do? Only five in the green. 
19 goals for Hurst. He's getting up there, but only 14 starts. Why is he not playing more? 14 goals for Jack Taylor. Assists, 19 for Leaf Davis. Fantastic job there. And then a 7-3-4 for Alexander Mayer. Wow. But a 7-2-6 for Leaf Davis. Championship stats. Most goals. Ipswich Town in first. Why 109 with 10 more than Norwich. Fewer shots against in third with 375. Most dribbles in third with 912. And most shots for in second with 674. But now, tactic itself. A sweeper keeper in attack is where we start. Wingbacks on the left and the right in support. Ball playing defenders in the central spots and defend. A deep line playmaker in support. Box to box above them in support next to a CM in attack. Wingers on the left and the right in attack. And a target forward in attack up front. Positive mentality. In possession, attacking width is fairly narrow. Approach plays pass into space. Play out of defense. Passing directness is shorter. Tempo is higher. Mix crosses and run at defense. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute to the center backs and take short kicks. Out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a standard defensive line. Trigger press much more often. Prevent your goalkeeper distribution and step up more. But now, how did it do overall for our three teams? Fantastic job for Ipswich Town. Second place is terrific. Some of the cups, you didn't do great. Another cup, you did. So overall, I think it's a pretty good season for Ipswich Town. If we look at Liverpool and Aston Villa, well, Liverpool topping the charts. Again, 87 points is kind of low on the Premier League title, but still, you get there, you do a fantastic job. Every save is going to be different from one to the next. So 87 points here could be, you know, third place next season. But overall, Liverpool did a really great job. Aston Villa, not so much. They did win the Conference League, getting them to the Europa League. But unfortunately, 60 points. We have seen them a lot higher in the table from that. I mean, honestly, I always say this, but if you took control of this, you could probably do a much better job. Massage the tactic into your team and the team into the tactic. Uh, kind of do your own match shouts during matches and training and transfers and things like that. And you could probably get a lot better than 60 points. I mean, look at that. 60 points all the way up to 65 in sixth place. So I think that's doable if you just kind of do your own thing and kind of play to your strengths. But in this case, it worked with some. Aston Villa, not so much. But that's it for me, Savvy FM, for the Football Manager Blog Channel, saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.